clean is the enemy of a healthy tank. The way to deal with parasites is just the opposite. It is to bring as much life, as much biodiversity into your aquarium as you possibly can. Come right on in. You're it, Father Fish. There is a lecture by Dr. Kevin Lafferty at the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium talking about his life's research, which has been parasites. The sorts of studies he's talking about involve understanding beneficial parasites. Now there's a thought, isn't there? Let me give you an illustration. In Japan, there is a brown brook trout that has been nearing extinction. It's been fished almost to the point where it no longer can be found in the wild. So a group of scientists began to study this brook trout and they found something very interesting. Their results drove them to Dr. Lafferty. And here's what they discovered. There is a parasite, a very long, thin parasite that infects crickets. And it causes the cricket at a certain point in time, typically early in the fall. This worm causes the cricket to become extremely thirsty to the point where it jumps into a body of water, a stream, a creek where, of course, it drowns. Crickets can't swim. By the millions, this happens. And then what happens? Well, the parasite comes out of the cricket, actually <laughs> punctures the gut and comes out of the gut and finds another little cricket parasite worm to mate with, and they lay eggs and have babies, and the cycle starts all over again. But what happens to that cricket that's jumped in the water? Well, it's eaten by brown brook trout. They studied the diet of the brown trout through the year. Early in the year, it's eating insects, eating some uh, microfauna, some plant material, primarily insects that it finds on the bottom. But then in the fall, it gorges on crickets. 60% of its annual food is those crickets causing the fish to egg up, to spawn, and to, to multiply itself. The Japanese scientists discovered the effects of a parasite on providing nutrition in adequate quantity, volume, to be able to reinstate the brown trout in its natural environment. Parasites have everything to do with diversity in your aquarium, most especially the control of parasites. Think about it this way. Let's say you do not have any biodiversity in your aquarium. What you are trying to do in this scenario is keep your aquarium absolutely sterile perfectly clean with nothing in there living except a couple of fish. You don't even want plants in it because they bring stuff in. No plants. You don't want anything on the bottom because stuff grows on the bottom. So bare tank, bare tank, brand new, clear, pure water. So now what do you do? You have to feed them. You get this little can of food, sprinkling in. They come up, they eat. Oh boy, look at them go, look at them go. Wow, they love this. Give them a little more, a little more. Oh boy, look at that. They're going after it, aren't they? Come here, tell them, look at this. Look at these guys eat. Wow. We're, well, they're something, aren't they? Look at that. One hour later. There's food laying on the bottom. Well, gee, guess I gave them a little bit too much. Well, they'll eat it, they're hungry. Hungry fish is a happy fish. 24 hours later. Huh, my water's cloudy. Wonder what's going on. Why is my water cloudy? Matilda, did you put anything in here? Make this water cloudy? No, Henry. 
I didn't do anything to your damn fish. Nothing. I don't touch your fish. Well, something happened. Guess I have to do a water change. Get out the siphon in the bucket. Pull it out. Put some more in. He must be hungry. Give him a little more food. One week later. The fish begin dying. What's cause him of a Matilda? Did you put anything in here, kill my fish? Now, Henry, I don't mess with your fish. They're your fish. They ain't my fish. I don't want nothing to do with it. Well, something happened to my fish. They're all dying. Look at them spinning around. They got crud all over. I better get some medicine for them. Trucks off to the store, comes back with about five medications, starts dumping them in. 24 hours later. Everything is dead. Now what happened? What happened, he had, he had a sterile tank in which there was nothing to compensate for the excess food he was eating, or for that matter, for the waste that the fish were producing. And so a monoculture developed. A monoculture being whatever animal was there first, bacteria, whatever it was, parasite, whatever, took advantage of that environment, exploded in that environment, and took down the fish. That's what happens in a sterile environment. That's what happens when you try to keep your tank clean. Clean is the enemy of a healthy tank. But I'm afraid of parasites. Well, we're all afraid of parasites, aren't we? We all are. Parasites are a dreadful thing. So what do we do about it? We bring in the enemies of the parasite. We bring in the parasite city parasites. We increase the biodiversity of the environment. And in so doing, we rid ourselves of the real nasties. Here's a good example. Here's a tank set up by Joshua. Joshua is one of our Discord denizens who has developed a food web deep substrate. Now, if you'll notice, the bottom of this aquarium is loaded, completely covered with leaves, two to three inches of leaves all over the bottom of this thing. That promotes microfauna and microflora now you might say yeah but what about all the what about all the parasites that'll come in i'm scared of those parasites well in a biodiverse environment the greater the biodiversity the more control of the species exists within that environment there are for example parasites that have parasites there are parasites that parasite on parasites. How do you get them? Well, you get them the way Joshua got them. You go out in the creek, you collect a bunch of leaves, you bring them in and you throw them in a fish tank and you increase your biodiversity. By increasing your biodiversity, you increase the opportunity for everything that is living in your environment to be in a more effective balance. Well, that's a little bit of a touch on the whole issue of parasites. The way to deal with parasites is not to try to get rid and kill everything. The way to deal with parasites is just the opposite. It is to bring as much life, as much biodiversity into your aquarium as you possibly can. That will balance the parasite involvement. Parasites comprise nearly 50% of the life forms in aquatic environments. If you want to control them, you got to get a lot going on. A lot of parasites will parasitize on other parasites. You've got an environment then in which the parasites don't get all, don't get everything. They don't get the bulk of the nourishment. It's shared, it's spread around, and it's separated, and they're separated from it. So it creates a balance, a healthy balance, a balance in which your fish can manage to live through all of the critters that are living in the tank 
because they've got friends there as well as enemies. Balance your aquarium. Do what Josh has done with this remarkable leafed aquarium he has. A very, very healthy tank with lots and lots going on. So there's a new way of thinking about parasites. You don't need to get overwhelmed by them. You need to overwhelm them with good stuff. All right. Enough for this for now. Bye for now. See you again shortly.